Hi guys, this is Mike at TabletBuy.com and we're here today with uh, the new Kindle, the new generation, fourth generation Kindle Reader. This is the cheapest uh, Kindle available right now, starts at $79 and we're going to have a video review for this particular device here. Basically this is an ebook reader, probably familiar with the concept, it, uh, it's not a tablet, it comes with an e-ink display meant for reading static content, mostly books pictures and magazines and newspapers and even static web pages uh, the screen cannot display uh, motion pictures motion clips and uh, it only comes in black and white as you can see here it displays black and white images with a couple of different shades of gray 16 on this particular device the screen uh, is not backlit so it doesn't eat battery life when powered on However, it will require uh, an external power source uh, in order to, to actually, or an external light source actually, in order to actually be able to, to use it. So you'll need uh, outside light or light from a bulb or something like this. And uh, because of that, the device is actually excellent for reading outside. It's, it comes with very little glare and you can easily use it when commuting and traveling stuff like this compared to the previous generation kindle this one is a little bit uh, smaller uh, more compact and lighter however it's, uh, it doesn't come with a keyboard anymore we have the previous generation here as well and we're going to compare it with that one later in our video review now let's start uh, with having a quick look at the device and uh, the ports and the buttons offered. This is the device right here, you can see the screen, 6 inch display and pretty thin bezel around the, around the edges. It's made from plastic, it's rough made plastic, feels, feels, feels quite nice and there's plenty of grip in here. The device is incredibly light, only weighs like 6 ounces or 170, uh, 170 grams so it's very easy to carry around even if you're going to add the cover still not going to pass 200 grams quite easy to carry easier than a, a actually lighter than a regular book so this is something you would like um, it's also very thin like eight millimeters in thickness which is quite nice as well you don't have that many buttons it's a pretty simple design on the bottom you have here a mini USB port that's uh, used to connect the device to a computer and charge it. You also have a LED right here that's uh, used uh, when uh, connecting the device to a computer and it will tell you when the device will run out of battery. And there is the power button and screen lock button here. If you need to open the device you're going to have to press this one. Uh, short presses or long presses uh, they do different kind of stuff nothing on the back as you can see there is the battery inside but you can't access it you don't have access to the battery and nothing on top as well on front you have the screen and a couple of buttons they're here on the bottom and you have a back button a keyboard button a d-pad with which is a joystick with directions and a click pause click button in in the middle a menu button and a home button and they're actually quite nice they a little bit emphasized and easy to press buttons will be quite easy to use and of course as with all kindles you have the previous and next page buttons and they're a little bit uh, redesigned now they were on the previous generation they were placed here on the on the front page now they're just uh, on the side they occupy the entire side they're actually very easy to press you can see comfortable you don't have to press that hard and they're not noisy and of course you have these buttons on this other side because the device can be used by lefties and righties as well so this is basically these are basically all the things i wanted to show you about the exterior of the device now let's go ahead and power it on and see some of the main features okay here it is this is the home screen of the device i already connected it to my amazon account and uh, install uh, downloaded a couple of books not that many uh, once again this is the 
international version of this particular device it doesn't come with ads in the US there is the ad supported version this one that one is cheaper that's the one that goes for $79 and on that one you will have on this particular home screen you will have an ad here on the bottom and also when turning the screen on unlocking the device and locking it off you'll get a commercial here and you will be able to skip it on this one you don't have this because this is the non ad supported version which is a little bit more expensive now um, these are all the on the home page you're going to get all the content you're going to download you can download books you can download magazines games and um, it will show you what each of this is for instance this is a PDF file this is these are sample books and these are some dictionaries uh, let's go ahead and see these are the basic options you will have uh, access to you have the wireless right now we're connected on wireless you don't have 3G on this version anymore the previous version came the Kindle keyboard came with uh, 3G this one no longer has uh, 3G anymore but uh, you pretty much have all the other stuff okay so let's go ahead and try and uh, read a book we're going to start with the book because this is an ebook reader and you're probably going to use this for reading books most of the time okay let's put it here and we're going to zoom in okay let's go ahead with the books I don't have that many books but I have the user guide which is just uh, as we'll, we will be able to show you all the basic features using it you can go on the previous page and next page and you can see that unlike uh, the previous generation where each page load page refresh would result in a flash to back uh, experience this one will only get a flash to back once each couple of pages which are like six pages one two three four five six seven eight so a flash to back there which is actually quite nice uh, overall uh, loading uh, speed is pretty much the same as before but you don't have the flash to back which many of you uh, find uh, quite uh, quite annoying besides this uh, the experience is pretty much standard pretty much similar you got the cursor you can use the cursor around and you can of course do a couple of different things for instance you have here the definition of the key the uh, words you get uh, the cursor on for instance right, right now on newspaper and it says definition here and if you press the button you can get the full definition or create a note or pretty much all the other stuff um, I've pressed the full definition and I get here the full definition this is the Oxford American Dictionary uh, unlike um, the previous generation this one has a different dif uh, two different English dictionaries and you also have dictionaries for other languages as well we're going to talk about this a little bit later of course you can select text you just have to press the middle button and then you can start highlight and you can select this and you can add notations quite simple create a note and okay and in order to create a note we're going to use the keyboard so this is the keyboard this is the on-screen keyboard uh, it's not touch based because this one does come with a touch dis display so you will have to move the this uh, cursor around and select key uh, select uh, any of the keys available and type like this for instance if I want to type uh, ebook press e b o o and key and you can see that there isn't a, uh, this is not a qwerty keyboard it's a just a standard alphanumeric keyboard with letters in a row like on the alphabet and it's nice that you in order to go from n to o you don't have to go all the way like this you can just simply press uh, right and it will jump on the next uh, on the next row so overall it's a decent uh, keyboard you can use it and you also have here a couple of characters and different layouts uh, the however it's not as fast as the keyboard 
the physical keyboard you had on the previous generation so you might not uh, use uh, this one that much okay so now you can press this one you can press down when finishing with the keyboard or press the keyboard button so it will disappear and you can now save the note and of course you can share stuff so it's pretty much uh, the same thing uh, pressing the menu button it will activate the menu and from here you have the change font size which is what you had before and of course you can change the font as you can see here you can change typeface you can change line spacing so pretty much all the basic features that you had before and you can change screen rotation as well which is actually quite nice and I particularly like using this partic this uh, ebook reader in this position uh, on the previous generation you had a lot of space here with the keyboard and all on this one you don't so it's quite easy to hold it like this and use it reading books in this particular manner and you can go to the next page like this it's actually quite uh, quite simple to use it like this okay and let's go back and switch to the previous position like this okay so these were pretty much all the things I wanted to show you about the books and one more thing uh, you don't have probably missing there's you probably not seeing there's one option missing you no longer have text to speech because this one does not, uh, doesn't have any more speakers and it doesn't support headphones as well so just standard ebook reader without many different functions now you can also read PDF files go uh, let's go back to the home page this is a PDF file you can see that it loaded it quite fast it will take a little bit longer when opening the pdf for the first time because it needs to to cache it and this is a pdf once again it displays uh, black and white images and let's go to options and you have here okay not this one you have here zoom and contrast and you can adjust you can make it to you can adjust uh, different things here for instance I just zoom into the page and you can adjust contrast make it d darker it's something quite nice I really like this uh, this option and of course you can also again change screen uh, screen rotation so this is the PDF reader it supports pretty much all the types of PDFs and besides this the tablet works with uh, pretty much uh, the basic uh, Kindle uh, format uh, content and it also works with Mobi it works with PDF like I said and some docs uh, but uh, it doesn't support EPUB it supports though public libraries now and you can con borrow content from them and you can then uh, go ahead and uh, use it on your device let's go back to the home and I'm going to show you some of the other features and you have here the in experimental oh you can then you can now adjust screen rotation on your home page you couldn't before in experimental you no longer have the mp3 player you only have the browser uh, you don't have the mp3 since this one doesn't support mp3 files and you have the browser it's pretty much the same as before you have a small cursor you can see it here you have to navigate with it and go ahead and open an URL zoom out open the keyboard and I'm trying to go on our blog which is of course tablet byte you can see that typing uh, will take a bit of time you will need to get used to this particular type of keyboard but uh, once you will it should be quite okay but definitely not as good as on um, standard keyboard so I just search tablet byte because it's easier and I'm going to find our blog on Google navigate you can see that the, this one is pretty snappy and you can zoom in in the page you now have zoom in for browser which is actually quite nice you can see that refreshing content is quite nice and it also displays images and they're fairly nicely displayed and let's go ahead and open one of these pages 
and I'm going to show you some of the options just have for, to wait for it to load okay so it's loaded right now pressing options you're going to have that you have zoom in zoom out you have the article mode so you can read the content like this like a regular book and it also saves the image inside the article mode takes a little bit of time for the image to be properly displayed but then it displays it quite nice it's black and white but you got all the details in here it's quite nicely done and if you're going to go back here uh, you also have bookmarks you no longer can use the, the keyboard for bookmarks but you can bookmark this page from the menu and you have the browser settings and one more thing if you want to actually be able to read this content easily because you can see that the screen um, the fonts are still pretty small you will be able to adjust screen rotation in the browser and pull it make it like this and this way you will be able to read things easily uh, I don't think you can zoom in oh you can zoom in more so here here we are you can now read content on this one a little bit easier okay so that was the experimental browser uh, of course this one cannot play uh, video content as you probably know this is an e-ink uh, screen and uh, since this one uh, this tablet doesn't uh, have 3G you will only be able to use the experimental browser uh, with uh, with the Wi-Fi connect connection activated which is what we have here okay let's go ahead and turn screen rotation back to what we previously had and now we're going to have a quick look at the Kindle store pressing the, the menu button uh, gives you access to the Kindle store press OK uh, because we're right now not in the US we don't have all the options here if you're, you would be living in the US if you're living in the US you will have here uh, more types of contents you will have blogs as well you would have games you a couple of different types of uh, books uh, in here we only have this basic stuff but you still get access to the top sellers and a bunch of different books for instance it's going to go into books you can see that we have access to 800 thousand yeah 800,000 box, uh, books which is quite a lot sorry for that and you can of course use the search to search for particular books for instance if I'm going to search for I don't know Harry Potter should be should work and you can see that you have suggestions and you don't have to type for the whole word just press going to use one of those the suggestions press the middle button and you're going to have the results here so I don't think I actually opened Harry Potter something else and you, from here you can easily buy the book or try a sample or add to wish list if and you can also read customer reviews or you can go back and search for some other types of content uh, so it's pretty much simple experience you can get your content from Amazon quite easily like I said uh, games are not uh, supported outside of the US so I can't actually show you some of those but you will be able to play those you can't play uh, audio books anymore you don't have access to, the, to those so they're not displayed in the Kindle store anymore uh, as well now there are a couple of other things I wanted to show you uh, this is a new uh, edition my clippings which uh, shows you all the uh, all your notations and uh, you can have them here in one place could be quite useful I believe and besides this you have uh, cloud storage uh, free cloud storage for your content uh, on this device uh, you theoretically you only have like two gigabyte of space uh, out of which uh, some are used by the device so you can store uh, in theory up to 1500 uh, books but uh, probably going to be able to store less uh, still if you're going to delete some of the books from your device you uh, the book will be backed up on the on your account on Amazon site so we'll be able to restore it later if you want so 
you ca you can have an unlimited number of books but only be able to store a limited number on your device but if you can, if you delete something you can then go in on your account on Amazon and add it back on your device from there so pretty simple and I also wanted to show you that right now on settings there is this particular option that allows you to set a device language you couldn't do it before you can now have it in Deutsch, in Espanol, French, Italian or Portuguese and for that uh, it comes with dictionaries. For each of these languages, it comes with their own dictionary. Each of these languages comes with their own e uh, dictionary. And you have the Oxford American Dictionary, the Oxford English Dictionary, and this dictionary is in Spanish, Portuguese, French, German, and I believe this is Italian. So these are something, some of the things you didn't get before. Okay, so those were pretty much all the things I wanted to show you on this particular device, on the Kindle Reader. I should also tell you a couple of things about battery. Uh, Amazon says this one will go for like up to one month with a single charge. Um, in practice, you're probably going to get less. I would say around two to three weeks based on how much you're going to use it for reading for one to three hours a day. And uh, without uh, actually using Wi-Fi that much, you will probably get there two three weeks um, of course you know that when turning pages you don't eat a lot of battery so the biggest uh, consumer on this one is wi-fi connection so i advise you to turn it off from here if you don't uh, if you don't need it when traveling or well or when reading and that was uh, help you to save uh, save battery life. Now the previous generation actually had to theoretically twice the battery life of this one, but uh, that's what you. Uh, this are this is something you have to lose when uh, when trying to to get something a device more portable like this one. Uh, and in terms of prices, uh, as you probably know, this one goes for seventy nine. Starts at seventy nine dollars in the US for the ad supported version while the international or US non ad supported version goes for 109 bucks it will cost you extra for the shipping but not that much and the device ships uh, very fast for instance uh, here in Europe it was uh, shipped like three days since uh, I placed the order on last Friday and I got it on uh, on Wednesday so they were quite fast and in the UK it goes for 89 pounds which is a little bit more expensive but hey everything is more expensive there in the UK so basically this is excellent an excellent price for such a small device and it's not the only option available on the Kindle store you have a couple of others and among the among them there is this one which is the older generation Kindle and it's still available and it now sells as Kindle keyboard. And it's going to have a very quick look at uh, this, compare them. There will be another clip comparing them uh, with a more detailed comparison. For now, this is the comparison. You can see that this one is slightly smaller, a lot smaller actually, because it, it's lost the keyboard and it's slimmer as well. There are some layout changes. The buttons are different here on this one. The screen is pretty much the same. Uh, except for that part on uh, there is that part on books which I wanted to show you right now when changing between books you can see that this one gets a uh, fade to black uh, re uh, refresh on any press while this one only gets it once each couple of pages so this might be something you will enjoy but you can see that both change pages pretty much uh, the same rate um, beside this besides being lighter and uh, smaller uh, this one actually comes with uh, less feature than the Kindle keyboard you don't have the keyboard of course you have this and it's not a touch keyboard you have to manually select things and this one you had uh, the standard keyboard physical keyboard which is actually quite nice and you only only for symbols you would get keyboard like this and uh, you don't have mp trees this one doesn't come with uh, with speakers this one came with speakers and headphone support so you can't run mp trees audiobooks you don't have 3g like you had on this one and um, this uh, all this make the kindle this kindle the new generation cheaper 
starts at 79, this one starts at 99, and the 3G version will go up. The, the 3G international version, for instance, it's 189, which is what uh, we have here, but yet you have 3G. So it really depends on what you're going to need. If you want something that's made only for reading ebooks and uh, you don't need uh, uh, internet connectivity wherever you will go, and you don't need the keyboard, you don't plan to go online that much with it and type, uh, I don't know, comment on different blogs and go on so social media services. This is what you should get this now, uh, right now because it's very, very light and compact. Definitely feels, you can feel the difference between this one and this one. Although both are quite, uh, quite light, this is a lot more easy to carry around and it's also cheaper, like I said. So it really depends on what you're going to need. Uh, the new generation, the fourth Kindle reader, is an excellent device, but that doesn't make the previous generation, the Kindle 3, which is now sold as Kindle keyboard, any any worse. It's just meant for people with different needs uh, than this one is. Okay, those are pretty much all the things I wanted to show you about the Kindle, the new Kindle 4. Um, there will be the review on tabletbuy.com and on MaxQuarter.com and I advise you to go there and read uh, those written reviews. There will be links below in the description and um, we will also have a comparison between these particular devices, uh, a more thorough comparison between the two and some tablets maybe here on our uh, YouTube channel. That's all for now, Mike, thanks, uh, thanks for watching and if you like our clips, this clip and all others, please press thumb up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.